Well, I went out fishing with Galveston party boats. We were fishing on some old uh, oil rigs. You can see some of the structure there underwater. We're uh, fishing for snapper here, vermilion snapper specifically. Uh, it's easy to see how if you got a good sized fish in that kind of structure, it wouldn't take anything from to grab it and go ahead and cut your line. So you do have some definite risks in this fishing that you'll get something that you want and it's not going to come up. So you want to try to stay on the high side of it. But you can see here a bunch of vermilion snapper. They come up and they fiddle with your bait quite a bit before some one of them finally really gets in there and grabs it good. But we're probably in about 300 feet of water. The structure starts at about 100 feet. So we're probably fishing at about 120, just a little bit inside the structure. Well, new friend I met there, Jacob. He's got a video of him up top fishing. And uh, you can see, he, you can feel the bite brings up a little bit, seeing if they're going to hang on. And they will in a second or two. But, you know, it was a beautiful day. Calm waters, as you can see. We're out about 55, 60 miles. And uh, he's going to get one here in a second. And there it is. You can see the bite. You'll notice right away the fish is all over the place. These little fish, they bounce every direction against the weight and against your line. So they don't really sit stable in the center of the camera for a few seconds here. Well, they're fighting like wild and then they start coming up nice and easy you can see it going by all the structure if you had a larger fish think your amberjack you'd never get past that he'd cut you as quick as can be so something to think about when you are fishing that kind of fish there and he just comes up as you can see as you're getting higher and higher in the water column the lighter the color gets the more red you see coming back into the fish well, didn't take but a few seconds and the fish was up. Jake got himself a nice little vermilion snapper on this one, you'll see in a second or two. And, well, if you have any questions, let me know.